Take a look at that picture. Nice, right? Not a care in the world. Hi, my name's Steve Rosenbaum. You know, I'm a corporate cast-off. And when I got fired, I found my first two clients on the very same day that I lost my job. Guess where I found them? LinkedIn. You know, that's why I've spent the past 10 plus years mastering LinkedIn. Because I wanted to take control of my future, you know, for my family. And I found that not only is LinkedIn the ultimate source of hungry clients that will pay you top dollar, I developed a proven system for quickly landing those clients. And you can do it in as little as 15 minutes per day. I'd like to show you exactly how to do it. You like that, right? That's why I'm going to give to you my 15-minute daily checklist. So follow along with me right now. Because in just a few minutes, I'm going to show you how to start having success using that 15-minute daily checklist on LinkedIn. Can you imagine logging into LinkedIn, seeing people that wanted to hire you instead of all that usual spam? I'm going to show you how to rise above it. I'm going to show you how to ooze authority and credibility. So those people, they call you up and they say, yes, I want what you've got. That's going to be awesome, right? Let's take a step back. I know that LinkedIn, there's a lot of mystique surrounding it. You know, in your mind, you know this is the way to connect with businesses. There's over 650 million professionals on LinkedIn. The trouble is, it's loaded with spam. And it can be confusing, sometimes hard. And maybe you've tried some of the stuff that other people have told you to do, and it didn't work. And there's a lot of confusion. But I'm not talking about it in any way you've ever heard before. In just a few minutes, follow me, and I will show you how to rise above the clutter, beat out those 650 million other LinkedIn users, so the best prospects, they're attracted to you like bees to a honeypot. So here's what I'll show you today. First, I'll show you how to use LinkedIn to get more freelance clients, or maybe you want to find a job. Whatever you want to sell, I'll show you how you can make that happen on LinkedIn. I'm also going to show you how to position yourself so the best prospects, the ones that pay the most money, they seek you out, they find you, and they are attracted to you. Not sure what to say to those folks? That's all right. I'll show you exactly what to say. And I'll also show you how to engage in profitable conversations. And then finally, there is a way to master the LinkedIn system. A way to legally game it, if you will. And when you do this, LinkedIn will help you, and it will give you instant authority and credibility, even if you're just getting started. And also, if you have no connections, just wait until you see what I'm going to show you in just a few more slides. But first, let me introduce myself. My name's Steve Rosenbaum. I'm known as the original follow-up specialist. For years, people, businesses, the media, they've all turned to me for advice on how to quickly convert looky-loos into paying customers, clients, and patients. You know, it's all about conversion. Conversion is the key word. And you're going to see exactly why conversion is so critical to your success in just a few moments. Most importantly, you'll see how easy it is to convert people that are already RWA, ready, willing, and able to hire you right now. I love to teach others to succeed. My passion for your success is evident, which is why I have some of the highest rated courses in places like Udemy. Check this out. Tens of thousands of students from nearly 150 different countries. That's almost as many countries as LinkedIn. It's mind boggling. But know this, I want you to succeed. Just like I wanted my father to succeed. Let me tell you this story. It's really going to blow you away. My father is 82 years old. He's losing his eyesight. And until last year, he still worked. He still had clients. He was a sought-after executive through his professional career, and he was able to maintain those clients until last year he lost the very last one. Now, I don't mind telling you, my father was a little depressed about this. For the first time in 60 years, he didn't have something to do, somebody to talk to in the morning when he got up. And then... Pair that with losing his eyesight and other things that he's just not quite feeling as well, you can imagine. He was a little bit down. I wanted to keep him busy. I wanted to keep him challenged. And so I suggested to him, Dad, let me teach you LinkedIn. 
Now, he wasn't happy about it at first. He didn't want to do it, and he, he hemmed and hawed and made all sorts of excuses about how somebody his age didn't need to be learning social media. You know, he's not a social media guy. He's not on Facebook. He's not on Twitter. I said, Dad, don't think of it like that. Think of it as you meeting new people that want your expertise. And you like helping people, right? Shook his head, yes, absolutely. I do like helping people. And you want to stay busy, right, Dad? Absolutely. I do want to stay busy. And you'd love to have people that seek you out and say, hey, Bob, come help me, please. That's what we all want, right? We all want those people to come to us and say, hey, come, please, help us. So we got to work. When we started, my father had just nine connections. Nine. He had a profile. I'll give him that. I don't think he had his picture on it. And he had nine connections that were basically people from a company that he consulted with. So I put him to work with my 15-minute checklist. And look at what happened. Right away, he attracted 1,164 connections. And I'm talking about this happened in a matter of just weeks. But you want to see something else cool? Check this out. 396 people went and viewed his profile. Now, I want you to think about that for a minute. Just a few weeks prior to this screenshot being taken, he had just nine people connections. He had just nine connections. How many people do you think were viewing his profile? It was a big, fat zero. And now, just a few weeks' time, 396. How could that be? Why is that? You know why? It's because LinkedIn was recommending him. Right? That's what we need to get LinkedIn to do is we need to get them on our side to show our profile and recommend our profile to more people, which gives us that instant authority and credibility I was talking about. Check it out. I'll show you. My father reached out to a company and look at the, look at the message he got back from this person. Hey, Bob, the only reason I replied to your single text out of the hundreds I get on a weekly basis is because of the first line. I help moving and storage companies connect with companies that, that relocate their employees. Let's dissect that for a second. This guy admitted he doesn't respond to messages. He doesn't read messages. He views them as spam because LinkedIn is loaded with spam. But my father somehow got his attention, somehow rose above all that other confusion. And this guy saw his message because of it. It stuck out. It was above all others. That's what you need to do, right? You need to rise above the spam, above the clutter. You need to stick out. Look at the bottom, the part that I've highlighted. Bob, if you think you can educate us about this market and bring some value, please call me on my cell phone. Now, obviously, I blurred that out, but he gave him his direct line. No gatekeepers. He doesn't have to call and, and ask for who's the right person to talk to. He's not going to get the, shown the door by, by gatekeepers who delight in, in your misery. That's not going to happen at all. He's got his cell phone number. Now look at the next sentence. We can fly you out to L.A. or I'll get on a plane and I'll come see you with just a couple days notice. Folks, how cool is that? This company offered to get my father, put him on a plane and bring him to L.A., or they would fly to Chicago because that's where my father lived. On LinkedIn, my father found that person. He was able to distinguish himself, demonstrate his authority and credibility. Even just, just a few weeks ago, he had only nine connections. Wow, isn't that awesome? Wouldn't you love to know the secret? How did my dad do it? How did he go from being at the absolute bottom of the LinkedIn totem pole to attracting people like this? Let me show you. It's all about the Social Selling Index, or SSI. Have you ever heard of that? Do you know what it is? The Social Selling Index is LinkedIn's report card. Yeah, they're grading you. Everybody has an SSI score. Now, here's what my father's SSI score looks like. It's a 49 out of 100. And maybe you don't think that's very good. But you got to remember, he started from zero. So, what I want to show you here is how fast he was able to grow that. But not only was he able to grow his overall SSI score, he was able to get within the top 8% of his industry. Remember, we said that he was at the bottom of the totem pole? He literally was at, you know, maybe $650 million. We're talking about nine connections only. And we're talking about somebody who never logged into LinkedIn. He was at the bottom of the, to the totem pole, and a few weeks later, he's in the top 8%. Let's flip that around. That means he's above 92% other people in his industry. And check this out. 
He's doing a great job of finding the right people and building relationships. See what LinkedIn's doing here? They're showing you the four components that go into the SSI score. And when you learn to master these four components, that's the LinkedIn success path. Yeah, LinkedIn will show you exactly what they want you to do. They want you to establish your professional brand. They want you to find the right people, and they want you to engage with insights so that you can build more relationships, profitable relationships. And LinkedIn rewards you when you do it their way. Check out what happened to Ellen. Ellen started using this program, and she started using the 15-minute daily checklist, and in no time, she got up to the top 1% in her industry. She's in the executive management industry. And when that happened, look at her score. Top 1% of the industry, and you can see that she worked on those four different areas. She improved each one. She maximized building relationships and steadily grew each one. And with that, more people found Ellen. More people requested her help. That's why I say there's a LinkedIn success path. Because LinkedIn, they will help you succeed as long as you do it their way. And when they do that, it instantly boosts your authority and your credibility. And it also keeps you out of LinkedIn jail. Yes, LinkedIn jail is a very real thing. They will put your account behind bars, literally suspend it, take it down, if you don't do things the way they want you to do it. So take your choice, folks. Would you rather have LinkedIn on your side helping you, or would you rather be thrown into LinkedIn jail? I know me. I want to have LinkedIn on my side, right? You do that by maximizing your SSI score, your social selling index. And when I say LinkedIn helps you, here's what I mean. Check this out. They are absolutely the most transparent social media platform out there, bar none. They will tell you exactly how to succeed. They will connect you with the right people, with the right message at the right time. And that's what it's all about. Here's what I mean. Here's a snapshot from some of the information that I get from LinkedIn in my account. What I can see, first of all, is how many times did I show up in search? In this case, it was 257 times. Now, I can monitor that every single week to see if the work that I'm doing, improving my SSI score, doing the things they recommend, you'll start seeing that your weekly searches go up. But it doesn't stop there. Look at this. LinkedIn shows you where the people that viewed your searches, where they work. Noble Systems. Have you ever heard of Noble Systems? I haven't. I don't even know who they are. But they're a good-sized company, right? They've got 201 to 500 employees. And what I know is people from Noble Systems are checking out my profile. What can I do with that information? Well, I can go search for the executives on Noble Systems. I can go connect with them. I could go message with them. I might even ask them. I noticed that some people were checking out my profile. Are you looking for a conversion specialist that could help you take those prospects and convert them into paying customers and then bring back those paying customers to buy from you again and again and again? Because that's what I do. And since I know that people from Noble Systems are looking for that, there's a good chance that the executives in that company are looking for it. Same thing with, look at this, Proficient Digital or the ASAE, the Center for Association Leadership and EQ Health Solutions. These are all good sized companies they're already seeing me as an authority with credibility because LinkedIn is showing me in their searches. Let's move over to the right column. Take a look. This shows me what my searchers do. These are showing me the titles of the people that are seeing me. Salespeople are seeing me. Founders are seeing me. This is good. These are exactly the people I want to reach. Executive directors. Those are decision makers. Business strategists. Now, that's interesting. Maybe I never really thought about that. But now that I know that LinkedIn is showing me to a lot of business strategists, what can I do? I could tweak my profile and make it more appealing to business strategists. I could change my the caption under my picture and say, I'm Steve Rosenbaum. I help business strategists convert more prospects into paying customers, clients, and patients. Wow. A business strategist is searching for me. They see that I help business strategists. You think I'm going to look important to them, authoritative, credible? Of course I am. I also see the keywords that people are using. Instructor, chief marketing officer, check this out, franchisee and franchise development. That's great because I was doing work in those niches. 
And this shows me that when people were searching on those keywords, franchisee, franchise development, well, guess what? LinkedIn was showing my profile to them. That's what it's all about. You see, LinkedIn gives you this valuable information. No other social media company in the world would do that for you. But LinkedIn, they're very transparent. They want you to succeed. And let me prove to you that this works. By following the Social Selling Index 15-minute daily checklist, look at what happened to my account. Now, I had gone for weeks really not logging into LinkedIn. And I want you to know something. I'm pretty opportunistic about LinkedIn. LinkedIn is so powerful and you can get results so fast. Those results can give you plenty of fish in the pond, right? So what I do is I go into LinkedIn and I work it hard. I work it hard for a week or two weeks and I get a ton of prospects. And then I work those prospects. And so I stay off of LinkedIn for a little bit. Now you might choose to link it to use it every day and maybe you should, but that's the way I do it. That's why when you look at this chart, you'll see I was relatively flat for several weeks. But then I said, you know what? I'm going to turn it on. I actually had a new product that I wanted to get the word out. So I went, I followed my 15-minute checklist. Look what happened. The very first week, an 825% increase in profile views. Profile views, those are people coming and checking out my profile. Why? Because LinkedIn told them to. LinkedIn said, this is somebody you want to connect with. And when that happens, check out the messages at the bottom. People actually messaging me asking me if I could help them. If you want to rev up your exposure, there's no better way to do this. Here's some more things that happened during that time. I had 523 new connections in just 12 days. Look at my inbox. 151 people waiting to connect with me. These are the best. You know why they're the best? They're asking me to connect. Now I could respond to them and I could ask them a question. I could say, hey, thanks for asking me to connect. May I ask you why you want to connect with me? How can I help you? Now, if I do that out of 151 people, don't you think that some of them are going to be legitimate, qualified people that need, want my help and need my help, are willing to hire me? Of course there will be some within there. That's the beauty of working it this way. This is what success looks like. Check this out from Jim. Steve, please give me a call next week. We're going to be implementing a CRM for our 200-person sales force within the next year, and you may be able to help. Thank you. Perfect, perfect prospect for me. I also connected with a Major League Baseball team, a vice president who wasn't the right person for me, so you know what he did? He connected me directly with the person who was the right person. He said, Steve, that's not my area, but let me connect you with this person because they're looking for exactly what you're looking for. I got invited to be a guest on a podcast. Folks, that's one of my favorite things to do. Get invited to be guests on a podcast. That's another way to instantly boost your authority and credibility. And you know what? It's free traffic. You could build a mailing list very, very quickly. That's a great thing to do on LinkedIn. Seek out these podcasters. Get invited to be a guest on those podcasts. Created multiple, multiple new opportunities. So, you know, I always say there's three parts to success when it comes to sales. First, you need to connect with those prospects. Then you need to qualify them. Then you need to convert them into paying customers. Now you see this on the, on the left-hand side here. These are the five steps that I teach from my course, Connect Qualify. And it starts with growing your connections. But then you capture those connections, take what I call the home field advantage, and you get them into your funnel. Once they're into your funnel, you could filter for the qualified leads. Then you can ignite that relationship and then you can follow up with those people forever. And they're going to convert into paying customers. It all begins on LinkedIn with the connection. Now, as I mentioned, you can do this in as little as 15 minutes per day. I've developed my 15-minute daily checklist that when you follow it, you will increase your SSI score because you're focusing on the four areas that LinkedIn wants you to optimize. Would you like to have it? Can I give to you my 15-minute daily checklist on my behalf from Steve Rosenbaum to you? Now, this checklist, the 15-minute checklist, is from my top-rated LinkedIn Clarity course. And you can claim your 15-minute daily checklist right now by going to steverosenbaum.com slash summit gift. But first, I'd like to ask for your help. I'd really appreciate your feedback about my presentation today. Plus, I'd like to learn a bit more about you. 
So when you go to steverosenbaum.com slash summit gift, please give me your honest feedback so that I can help you better succeed on LinkedIn in the days, weeks, and months ahead. When you're done, I'll take you to the redemption page where you can download the 15-minute daily checklist. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. My name is Steve Rosenbaum. I want nothing but success for you. So go claim your 15-minute daily checklist at steverosenbaum.com slash summit gift. And then watch your email inbox because, as I mentioned, this is just the beginning. You're going to learn how to connect. I will also show you in the coming days, weeks, and months with my daily emails how you can also qualify and convert those connections into actual paying clients. Get started today. Go to steverosenbaum.com slash summit gift. And also, come join my best small business marketing group on Facebook. You'll find it at facebook.com slash groups slash best small biz with a Z. We'll see you there.